Hello and welcome back to 37 Days, gang. Uh, we are concluding our week now of talking about what it means to humble ourselves and all the different aspects of that. And today I want to conclude with a, a very practical element. We used to sing a song again. This is, this is way back, 70s, 80s. It was called, Come Let Us Worship and Bow Down. It was Psalm 95. It's the scripture on our devotional. Come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our maker. Some of you may be old enough to have remembered that course. It was very common for us to kneel. We sang songs about kneeling, but it was very common for us after a church service to come to the front of the church and to physically kneel at an altar. And the reason we did that was there was just an awareness that the God to whom we were accountable was actually present. And the word we had just heard preached, we were accountable to it, and we would go up and bow before our God and wrestle with the word we had just received. It's called the fear of God. The fear of God is not a fear that God's gonna punish us or slap us or hit us. It's reckoning with his awesome presence and just being aware of it. Something on the inside of us will naturally bow down. The scripture says the elders bow down. Every person that ever met with the presence of God bowed down. Satan bows down. The demons, when they came uh, before Jesus, when he was casting the demons out of the Gadarene, they came and they bowed down. Every knee is going to bow down. It's the natural response. So when we're aware of the presence of God, we acknowledge he's present. It is very natural that on our insides, and I would even say perhaps if you're at a place today where you can, where you can get some time with God, that you actually bow down. It's just simply a way of humbling ourselves before the presence of God. So I just wanna encourage you. This is a very simple thought today, but I wanna encourage you as we conclude today to just reckon with and ask God to stir afresh the fear of God. What that will do for you and on the inside of you, what that'll do is cause a very natural bowing down. And I would encourage you Find some place today. It might seem awkward to you if you've never done it. Find some place today. Bow down, get on your knees, bow before God and simply express to God, God, I know you're present. I surrender to you. I submit afresh to you. As we start this new year, I humble myself and I bow before you. You are God and I acknowledge that. Would you do that today? Just as a simple thing, I encourage you to do that. All right? Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do come before you and we bow down. We bow our hearts, we bow, bow our pride, we bow our control, we bow before you and reckon with you as God Almighty. Thank you that you're in charge. You're worthy of all of our worship and it is our honor to humble ourselves before you. In Jesus' name, amen.